right, so all eyes are on Khabib Nurmagomedov. Daniel, as your former teammate, makes his return to competition here tonight. A lot of us felt like this moment would not materialize. He's chasing 30 and 0 now. He's chasing 30 and 0. I mean, he's one of the only guys to get out of this thing clean. Nobody goes undefeated unless your name is Khabib Nurmagomedov. The guy has fought the best. He is a guy that lets you know what his intentions are, and he goes out there and he works the game plan. He's going to get in your face. He's going to try to overwhelm you with his wrestling. And you look at his boy, Hasbula, in the corner. Khabib Nurmagomedov's looking for a big night. The Dagestani social media legend has Bula Magomedov in the corner of Khabib Nurmagomedov tonight. Khabib Nurmagomedov. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So here's the legend, George St. Pierre, former UFC welterweight champion, former UFC middleweight champion, and DC as one of the most decorated wrestlers on this UFC roster. You gotta be pretty amazed at what this man has been able to accomplish without any amateur wrestling credentials to speak. Yeah, with no background, the guys that he's been in there with and controlled the wrestling exchanges has truly been unbelievable to watch. I was in Canada when he fought Josh Koscheck, and he took Josh Koscheck who was an NCAA champion down whenever he needed to. Right. But it was also the striking that made him so dangerous. I remember George St. Pierre had this combination. It was a lead jab, a lead Superman jab, and a leg kick. Everyone wanted to try and do it, and they say imitation is the greatest form of getting a compliment. We all tried to beat George St. Pierre. And he's got more SPs than you. He does. He's a man. <laughs> And now our kill the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda. And now we can see the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, George Rush St. B. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. Good. All right, going to be interesting to see how George St. Pierre approaches the early portions of this round. Takedown figures to be there, right? But he talked a lot about his job. <laughs> Stay busy here. Oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Arm triangle attempt. He's got to get that elbow going forward. He's got to drop his chest to the mat. Don't squeeze. Let your shoulder do the work and you'll get the finish. Was able to get his momentum going back towards his opponent, then back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And Beautiful. you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast. Absolutely did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> 
St. Pierre getting worked right from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. half guard for him here and a lot of offensive options I would think at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Namago that up, ground and pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Great submission defense on display tonight. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Just over two minutes to go. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. While St. Pierre's in half guard, now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by GSP. Lands with the ground and pound. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. He's brutalized him with the ground and ball. This fight is close to being done. St. Pierre's got his back yet again. The fight's over. Oh! Jeez Louise. Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 34 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, George Rush St. Pete. Well, this is a man of humility, but George St. Pierre all but guaranteed a win by TKO tonight.